So what's going on you guys? So today what I have for you guys is a new updated pickup video. Um, I've had a lot of pickups since the last time you guys watched and I thought you might enjoy some of these uh, recent purchases that I've had that have come in. Um, the first is going to be this 2008 David Price Rookie Refractor. It's an X-Fractor numbered 2299. Really good shape. I like that card a lot. Good pitcher, uh, you know, if he has a couple solid, maybe three to five solid more years, he might be a Hall of Famer, who knows. Still a great player, good pitcher. Uh, <clears throat> the next two came together, so... Got one of these 2016 Topps Chrome Gary Sanchez Prism Refractors. Um, to be honest with you guys, and this is the first tops rookie card of gary sanchez and they're beautiful these x little uh prism refractors are and to be honest with you they're very affordable and if you're trying to get a cool rookie card um at a good price right now before something like this may that i mean eventually blows up if he continues to do well this is a good card to get um so i got it relatively cheap and the guy actually threw this in with it when i got it both are in great shape. Um, another awesome 2016 Topps Chrome card. Corey Seager, Prism Refractor as well. Like I said, these cards are, you know, pretty affordable for most anybody. And if you collect some of the new stuff like I do and you like refractors, it's a very good card to get, uh, in my opinion. Got another one coming in. I'm not going to say what type of refractor it is, but it's a type that I've been wanting for a while to put into my collection. And uh, that should be in sometime later this week. I mean, just look at the shine on those cards. I mean, how can you beat a nice refractor? I don't know how you can. Um, next one, another one. I've been wanting one of these for a long time, and they're few and far between when they show up online. And I actually got this one from the same guy, from the David Price, and I was really happy to get this. He actually had an X-Fractor numbered to 299, I believe. I believe it was numbered to 299 of Mad Bum, but on the back side, at the top, it had peeling. So, I went ahead and went with the just regular base refractor. It's in a whole, I mean, it's in really great shape but I couldn't see any surface scratches and the corners were sharp on this so went ahead and picked that up <clears throat> wanted one of those for a long time like I said just never really bit the bullet and did it and in my last video I told you guys that I was looking to get um, a pool hose and I was only going to do a chrome well <laughs> ended up being able to get both of these and these are actually gifts from my dad which i was really really excited about i've been wanting the one of these cards specifically the chrome since i was a little kid and you know just never really had gotten one and so i was really really excited when he surprised me with the base and the chrome of this card and both of these are in really really great shape the chrome is a little bit off center but Overall, I couldn't really see any major surface damage or anything like that. I mean, it's a great card. Uh, really cool. And I didn't really realize it, but uh, Pujols actually was a replacement for Mark McGuire. I didn't realize that until I was reading the back of this card. So, really neat stuff. Uh, definite future Hall of Famer. I don't see why he wouldn't get in the Hall of Fame unless something came up with uh, steroid accusations or something like that. But I highly, highly doubt that. I mean, he's an awesome player. Great guy. Really charitable. Overall, really like him a lot. I wish he would have stayed in St. Louis, but whatever. Um, next one is a little bit more of, I guess, not really vintage, but still an older card compared to all these. This is a uh, 83 Wade Boggs near Mint 7. Love this set and really like this card. Really awesome of him, 3,000 hit club guy. Trying to put together all the 3,000 hit club uh, guys rookie cards. Uh, so this one's relatively cheap. In the new PSA case, got it for a good deal. So I was like, hey, might as well pick it up. Another great hitter. All these guys are 
well, for the exception of Mad Bum and David Price are great hitters and players. Um, next two, got these in a lot, and these are in wonderful shape. Two Ryan Sandberg rookies. Awesome player. So, got two of the big rookies from the 83 top set. Still need to get the Gwen. Another 3,000 hit club guy. And this right here may have been the best deal out of all of them, out of the ones that I purchased. Um, this, I was looking online, and lucky enough, I was looking at Ricky Henderson's stuff, and when I went on there, I checked it twice in one day. I was looking to get a Ricky Henderson, and this had just gone up, and there was like seven people watching this card, and I'm not going to say how much it got it for, but I got it for a heck of a deal from a really reputable company online, and it's in awesome shape. I would say it would grade at least, I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't get at least a six. Anywhere from a 5 to a 7, I would say. It's got a little bit of a tiny ding in the left corner. You know, it's not perfect all the way around, but still got great color. No creases. Centered decently well. Awesome card. I was really, really happy with that. And last is 2000 and top, 2001 Tops Ichiro. Good card. A little bit off-centered. No surface damage that I could see. Overall, great card of a great player. I'm going to try to get the Chrome version of this one day. Um, right now, they're usually sitting on there for 20 bucks, but typically when one goes up for auction, uh, you can pick one up for about $10. So I'm going to keep my eye out for the Chrome version of that. But just to kind of put all these in a line, just so you guys can see, and I'll recap all the stuff for you put them all right here and let me know do you guys like refractors I mean most people do I know there's a lot of people you know that collect mainly vintage or whatever I don't really differentiate if I like the card and I like the player I'll pick it up it doesn't really matter to me too much um, I like everything I vintage whatever Hall of Famers, stars, current stars, you know. But I'm always looking for a good deal, so. It's the pickups from the last, about week and a half, I suppose. A lot of great stuff. Awesome. Those awesome gifts right there. I'm very happy with that. Thank you, Dad. And just a bunch of beautiful stuff. I really don't know how you can't like baseball cards. They're just really cool and fun to look at. Great pieces of history. All right, you guys. Well, be looking forward to some more pickups in, um, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, might have some stuff. Well, I will have some stuff here by the end of the week. Uh, so be looking out for videos on that. And I appreciate you guys watching. And I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day and keep collecting, you guys. Take care. Bye.